Salut c'est Chnouf et bienvenue sur ce quatrième épisode de Red Dead Redemption 2. Euh, lors de l'épisode précédent, je devais trouver des informations sur l'attaque du train planifiée par les Audrey et euh, l'épisode s'est terminé par la capture d'un de leurs membres. Là, je dois aller voir Monsieur Pearson, donc c'est parti. Allons voir Monsieur Pearson. We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. Ok. We're Salut. Okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. <laughs> Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need some neat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. <laughs> you can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look at this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. On va partir à la chasse alors, a priori. Here, you take this. I can't use it and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Putain, je chassé à l'arc quoi. Le mec il m'a pris pour rembarrer des bois. Let's head out. Yeah. Alors attends. J'adore ces passages cinématiques euh, entre deux dialogues. Ça permet d'avoir un trajet un peu moins long, c'est super cool. Vraiment. Ah, 
J'ai chassé à l'arc. Stop here a second. I see something. Pardon. Bon bah faut que je m'équipe. Has Deer been here recently? How can you tell? Mais non. Je suis encore trompé le bouton. Si vous êtes accroupi, ok, je suis accroupi, c'est bon. Et maintenant. Vous voyez les Je pense so. Maybe not. Focus. Appuie sur L3 et R3 pour activer l'œil de l'Arx. Ouais, je les vois, ouais. R1. Suivre la piste. R1. Merde, c'est ça, R1. Alors, ok, tac. Ouais, j'ai pas compris leur système là. Je suis dessus, mais euh... Ouais, pardon, monsieur. C'est pas flagrant leur truc là. C'est bon, je le vois. Je vois. Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. Dans le coup, la tête. You back quite hard. You'll feel when it's too much. Quick, before they move. Ok, d'accord. Ok, ok, ok. Putain mais c'est chaud en fait Bon allez, on se concentre. Allez. That's okay. Try again. Merde. Ah ok, j'ai ma barre d'endurance. Ok. Alors, un truc qui augmente l'endurance. Allez, on va continuer.
Ah, il est là. Je le vois. Careful. This might be our only chance for a good meal. Peut-être à récupérer la proie, non, je sais pas. Ok, je peux pas récupérer pour le moment. D'accord. Alors, bon, on va continuer. Ah, là-bas. Allez. Allez, Robin Wood. Putain mais c'est dur C'est hyper dur leur truc là Ok ils sont là bas flingue sérieux Je l'ai pas eu Oh putain c'est une blague Ça c'est bien ça. Si le cheval s'approche c'est cool ce que... La Zelda. Breath of the Wild ça c'est cool ça. Bon j'ai un petit peu galéré quand même hein. Parfait. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Allez, on va retrouver Charles. Putain le fail <rire> Reprendre au point de passage. Bon ça va. Quelques nice animaux déposés les You're a good shot. 
It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck's finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what that? We'll still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's oh, see if we can find another way around. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Well, he's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. <laughs> Cut up here, off the trail. Calme-toi, calme-toi. N'aie pas peur, le cheval. Comment tu as été avec nous maintenant 5-6 mois Quelque chose comme ça Tu n'as pas expecté ça Quoi Tout ça. Blackwater, un mess. Être là Ah. Plus tard ou plus tard, un job va aller mal. La nature est vivante. J'ai juste pensé que tu aurais dû aller plus tard maintenant. Tu veux que je vais aller plus tard Non Oh, not at all. I just know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. Oh, watch it. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> taught me to read. John, too. Taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Mm. 
How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. Huh. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Ah bon, on arrive enfin. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Easy. I'm gonna hitch tie him over here. Drop some food back, boys! Easy. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Oh, and, uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well. Ah. Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. You find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yes. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one that you dumped on the floor there. Ok. On part sur du Jean-Pierre Coff là. Allez. Bon appétit bien sûr. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> <coughs> Quelques jours plus tard. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respects, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You're still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill! Now, you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? 
weather's breaking, we could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Jose? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Jose. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob! Bon bah là on va attaquer le train, écoutez, euh, bah, vous verrez ça dans le prochain épisode. J'espère que cette, euh, cet épisode vous aura plu. Et je vous dis à la prochaine euh, pour la suite de Red Dead Redemption 2. Allez, tchuss